Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Children of Morta. So, oh hey. Well, that's awesome. Should we have Lucy playing with the cat? That's great. But we have that cute little critter there, and as far as I can tell, that might be... That fox-like thing might only be there because I actually went ahead and bought the one DLC that currently exists. Which is kind of a minor thing. It doesn't. It, it adds a. Oh wow! There's a very fancy peacock. Wow. Um, so, uh, in case you're not familiar with it, the DLC is like it's really cheap. It's four bucks or so, uh, three ninety nine, um, and it adds a couple of things. It, it's called Paws and Claws, I think. It it adds a bunch of animal friends that come visit occasionally. It adds a a new system where you can actually like. Oh, there are all kinds of critters. Were they there just a moment ago? I thought they they just, you know, come one at a time occasionally, but this place is actually crawling with with animals now, which is great. Um anyway, so that's new. Uh, and there's an animal shelter system, which I'm not sure exactly how that works. I mean obviously the we found the pup without the DLC, so some animals were apparently already in the base game, but well this DLC just added more of that. And apparently they also give you some in-game benefits, but mostly uh some part of the of the um, of the money from from sales for that DLC go to a oh actually there is a I didn't even realize that that's a new addition to the house okay that's cool so that's the animal shelter uh, so yeah some some of the some of the uh, what's the word for it um, well some of the money from the DLC goes to an animal aid organization whose name I forget, but yeah, it's, you know, it's a cool thing, and I've, I've been enjoying this game enough to just buy the DLC, even if it didn't have that additional charity bonus, but of course that makes it even more attractive, and it's a, it's a really nice thing that the developers did. Anyway, um, that is that. Also, I totally forgot, or totally missed, that Margaret had a, uh, a little symbol over her head last time while she was in her laboratory there. I was so distracted. I saw it in, when watching my video, but well, I missed that little bit of dialogue. But we'll probably see that again. Uh, but now Kevin has something. Always eager to fight, Kevin's new exercise resembled a dance more than a fighting technique. With all the noise he was making with his practicing, the family might have trouble sleeping tonight. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not night yet. Maybe. He'll stop uh, and actually go to sleep when it's, when it's night. Uh, so that might not be a problem at all. Anyway, um, yeah, I was going to, as I said last time, I was going to go ahead and, you know, um, do a run or two off camera just to farm a little bit of gold, maybe, you know, Drowned get a little bit more practice in. soaked muck of these trenches with a path to the halls of Anaidaia. Right, Lost Trenches, that's part two, two out of three. Um, yeah, and I was going to just play this first area over again. Um, however, now that I have the DLC installed, of course, uh, I can avoid my own plans, because that is pretty much guaranteed to give us some new um, unlocks and events. So I might as well just keep going. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll, you know, Kevin is the one who we unlocked this new area with. We made the most progress with progress with so far, so I feel it's only appropriate that we keep playing as him. We've also really only had one run, right? Was that one run as him? I think so, right? So, yeah, here we go. Oh, we do have a skill point, but I was, I think I was going to. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was going to put that into the final knives to increase the damage. Frenzy doesn't seem super necessary, but of course, uh, yeah. The next fan of Knights should be nice, and that will unlock another uh, family-wide bonus. So that's cool. Something to look forward to. Right, new area. Prepare to get wrecked a lot. That's fine. Okay, and we start with a uh, boss encounter right away. Okay, he spawns. Oh, he just spawns more goblins? Yeah. 
They always look so skeletal to me, I don't know. Oh. Okay, there, that's fine. Hmm. I don't know, Fan of Knives seems kind of hit and miss. An emphasis on this. Sometimes. I mean, apart from the issue that might or might not even really exist, where it seems like it sometimes just doesn't go off. Maybe it really is just a thing that enemy attacks into Um But it also sometimes uh, doesn't seem to do much. I guess it. I mean, the thing is, it, it really doesn't deal damage in a in a circle around you so much as it literally just spawns a number of of these daggers, and they might very well miss enemies even when they're, they're right next to you. Uh, don't shoot me from off screen, ideally. Okay, getting lucky with the, the gem drops here. Shoot both of you. Don't run away. Okay. That goblin just exploded into gold. I like it when my enemy do, do that, my enemies do that. Okay, what is this? Nothing. Huge pot. Not one I can break, but I guess we can see that it's empty, so that's fine. What? Oh. Yeah, there, for example. Fan of knives, Fan of knives definitely did not go off, but I did get uh, the cooldown, so. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know exactly what happened there. I might have interrupted it myself. Maybe when. When the animation is far enough along, and you then interrupt it with a, with a dash, um, maybe you can then actually lose it while still activating the cooldown. Maybe that's what's happening more than actual enemies disrupting me. Uh, also, I should probably go ahead and upgrade it like so. Oh, hey, together we stand. Achievement unlocked. Huh. Well, probably for getting, well, I guess three of these uh, family-wide bonuses. Fair enough. Hey okay, guys. Well. What? Okay, there I did roll. I guess I was hit, and it's it's really unfortunate that that's uh, that's really easy to happen. And I mean, the fan of knives is you know it's, its deal is that it does em damage in a fan uh, in in a, you know basically all around you. So you kind of want to use it when surrounded by enemies. But at the same time, doing that is very likely to have it go to waste completely. Also, we do get a nice amount of gold here. I think where previously um, even stacks from from these uh, from these chests used to be single digits, now they're they've they've all been in double digits. So that's neat. Wow. Just never stand still, basically. Wow. missing uh, an attack that's you know, that has a little bit more range, like you know, John's or Linda's damage from above. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Linda's version, just because it's so random and a relatively small area. Yeah, the kind of knives is kind of underwhelming. I guess at least the damage is fine. Yeah, we went too late there, and walked right into that one, and that one. Yikes. What's this one actually? Uh, exploding, huh? Sure. We've seen that one before. Ah, really? I feel like I'm playing a little sloppy today. Okay, shoot. Did he actually hit me? No. Did get some health though, that's nice. Oh, oh. why did I walk back into the path? I definitely deserve to get hit there. Hmm. Oh well, okay, well, 
it looks like this might actually lead to the to the end of the floor, but we'll see. And it did. The further their quest proceeded, the more dangers there were to face. Even the dead had no claim to peace anymore. Hmm. I guess these are these these dead people. These seemingly normal people, or well, not just seemingly, these normal people that I've been wondering about. Um, must be the pilgrims that we keep hearing about. So because this, I guess, this is a, a sacred place, which doesn't stop it from being filled with deadly creatures. And this is actually the end, the end of the floor. Never mind. Okay. Let's see what we get for our first relic here. Uh, weakening trap, divine relic. Throw a trap that weakens enemies who enter it. Eh, that sounds kind of weak. I don't know. But I guess it is a new item, so it's nice to get that if only for the codex entry. Oh, hey, I didn't even see that bag lying there. Is there something in here? No. It's up with that highlight on the on the rim there. Hmm. Who knows? Oh, hi. You were just lying in wait there? Somehow? And he also didn't care at all about me attacking him while he was summoning a thing. Interesting. Let's see here, apparently I missed, uh, I missed a shrine up here, and a bat. Ooh. Uh, Bloodstrike charm. Increase primary attack damage at the expense of decreased maximum health. Uh, sure. It's not decreased by that much, though. That being said, maybe the damage increase isn't that big either, but... Huh. What is this? Uh, instantly heals. I mean, I kind of need that. Maybe. Uh, should I heal before attempting whatever this is? Uh-oh. What is that? What could that be? Huh? Wait, wait, what? This is a wall, apparently. Wait, what? What's blocking me here? I cannot walk through here at all. I can't tell what this is supposed to to be. I can only walk through the middle. But I'm assuming that I have to activate whatever this is first. What is this? Okay, I'm getting stuck on invisible things. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to become clear as soon as I activate it. I don't know if I... I guess I want to probably be on full health for this. Hi. You didn't spawn before. Sure. Will heal me. A table fit for the oh. gods, what? but a game made for mortals. In a hand was to be placed Pong upon the, the pedestal, you... and their best was to be given. Palm of the gods. Can I use no? I cannot use the D pad. That's unfortunate. Okay. I don't want to hit the thing. Yeah. Wait. Or do I? Oh, actually, I do. So that's not exactly like Pong. Uh oh Oh, crap. No. What? That was unfair. How many health does he have? Oh. Phew. Jesus. That was interesting. Um, okay, now I know what this is. Uh, Choker of Illusion, Divine Grace. Increases dodge chance. Oh, well, I mean... Not really something I want to have to rely on, but... Nice to have, I suppose. Um, let's see here. My, okay. Actually, only minus 1.1 max health. That's, yeah, that's nothing. Um, primary damage does not display a uh, an increase at all. Critical damage plus 20%. I mean, it's not critical chance, but the, uh, the increase is pretty decent. Anything else? Dodge chance increased. Okay, well, it's basically doubled. That's a pretty decent dodge chance. Should probably save me. Quite a few hits over the length of this run, if it goes on for a significant amount of time. Interesting. Interesting things. Oh, right. And I keep forgetting that... Wait, there were... Nope, never mind. The final room, in this case, just doesn't have a teleporter. Wait, what the heck? Was that just a bunch of the small ones? 
or some kind of larger creeping mass of, of black goo. I don't know. Either way, I took a, an unnecessary hit there. That's fine. Probably. Probably fine. It was only three damage, apparently, so there's that. I'm not even sure what I destroyed there. It's just... I don't even know why I attacked. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, what? It's so random what, what objects you can destroy. Those things definitely did not look destructible to me. Empty so far. Oh, what are you? Long time investment charm. Decreased gemstone drop chance increases more of drop chance. You know what? Honestly, right now I think I get more benefit out of more money. Ooh, this is interesting. I mean, we are in a new place, so obviously we, we're gonna have new uh, assets, new environmental. Building blocks. Wait, did I did I activate the thing? Oh, I hadn't activated. Yes, that's okay. Yeah, that seemed to go mostly to waste. Oh, I got the big guys. What? That dealt a ton of damage. Also, I thought I rolled out of it, but I guess I didn't. <sighs> All right. In the like, darkest ooh. depths of the caves, further than a weary traveler dares to tread, lay the chamber of Anea Dyer and her golem. Her golem. The first step toward the mountain god. Okay. Another one of these little. Previews of what's to come. I mean, obviously not so much in a real useful gameplay kind of way, but purely for lore purposes. Still neat. Oh, wait, what's this? This looks kind of suspicious, but I guess it's not. Thing that we'll unlock later? Maybe not. Maybe it, sometimes a crystal is just a crystal. Hey, will you shoot? I guess not. Two big guys and that dude did shoot me from off screen. How lame. Okay. I wanna make absolutely extra sure that I'm that I do have my dodge ready. Or a dodge ready. No, what? He shot so quickly. I was not ready for it. Ugh. Okay, more experience. Um, I mean, I guess I might as well activate it now. And hope for the best. Uh, would you guys? Okay. What have we here? A lot of money. Uh-huh. Oh no, don't stand in the acid. Oh no. Those guys suck. They're extra floor crap to dodge. Oh no. Um, actually, whoops, that's not the right button to press. That didn't seem to do much. No! Did I take damage from that? I don't think that I did, somehow. Oof. Yikes. 
And the shrine has already run out somewhere in the middle of that. I guess we did not upgrade... Yeah, I didn't end up upgrading the duration for shrines, did I? Obelisk, I mean. Hmm. <sighs> Health is not looking great. Oh. Money is... Okay, I suppose. Hmm. I don't know where I should check. I, I guess I might as well check out all of this cave first. Before opening anything else. This looks suspicious. It probably isn't. Oh. He's going some health? Nope. No such luck. Oh, hey. Actually, golden room. Totem of Anahid. Create a totem that slows and <laughs> Really? I mean, I don't know. Is that more useful? It, it seems kind of similar, honestly. I don't know what exactly the weakened effect does. I mean, enemies were kind of affected by that trap thing, but... I can't really tell if that how much that helped me. Probably not a whole lot. Okay. Final room and some sort of event. Uh-oh. Wait, this looks... Oh, it's a shop. Shopkeeper said he would like to I mean, I kind of need to buy this. I also can't afford anything else. So. There have not been many customers lately. Well, I mean, sorry to hear that, but... Let's see if we can grab a little bit of gold here. I don't know if the extra gold drop chance affects only enemy drops also drops from pots. Doesn't seem like I'm getting significantly more so far, but I'm gonna trust the game that it does something. I'm also not paying attention to any of these of this ambient dialogue here, but oh well. Um, let's see. I mean, just for, for out of curiosity, uh, Divine Grace. The damage of your primary attacks increases with the number of gemstones you possess. Well, uh, increased movement speed when below 25% health. Kind of useful. We might have had that before. A uh, chance to throw an axe while attacking. Okay. This is contingency. Uh, Ring of Ambition. Corpses have less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies. Oh! Oh, that's what sometimes happens. I hadn't realized that corpses from from enemies that I killed ended up spawning those dark creatures. I thought that was just a thing that sometimes happened. Um. Yeah, I mean, I buy this one. That didn't do much, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's see here. The The map looks a little bit weird where it has that cliff side. Oh, also, kind of forgot to throw a little sidearm up the cave there. Probably doesn't have anything. Oh, hi. No health drop. Would have been nice. There, ooh, there's a large skeleton of some sort, and nothing else. All right. Well then, I don't really see myself getting to the end of this, of this uh, second section of the caves here, and let alone beating whatever boss we might end up finding then. So uh, you know, might as well go ahead and try to pick up as much money as I can. Um, oh. This is the point where I... Well, I mean, honestly, no. And there's a gemstone. Right there. And two gemstones. Holy crap. Oh. That's extremely lucky. <gasps> I couldn't dodge. Oh, no. That hit, actually. Surprisingly. Play, playing it super safe here. You know. Absolutely no need to rush anything. Nice. That's a... Decent amount of damage. Oh, hi. That didn't see you there. Oh, I almost got hit by it, too. Would have been extremely embarrassing and unfortunate. Don't shoot me from off screen, please. Try to move perpendicular. I got stuck on the freaking floor thing. Some sort of 
barely visible background object. I'm a little bit on edge now, in case you can't tell. Don't do it! You did it. I think there's some sort of auto healing that happens. Yeah. So when you're, whenever you're in critical health, the game helps you a little bit by restoring you back to what is it? Twenty percent, I guess. Oh no. Okay, let's hit the big guy. Might as well. Oh wow, that's a huge area. That's kind of neat. Oh no. Oh, of course I ran right through that. That sucks. That didn't hit at all. And I rolled right into that. Crap. Don't do that, man. Don't do it. Heal. That crits for almost 100 damage. I like it. And that guy did not drop any health. So much for elite enemies always dropping health, as I at some point... Uh, theoreticized. Yeah, this thing. Oh, this is. Thanks for that dodge. I didn't realize there was still that dude around. Man. This is rough. What a complete whip. There's another freaking archer as well. Oh my god. Come on. They also really don't want to move at all. Understandably. Don't do it. Okay, the other guy wasn't in line of sight, apparently. Wait, what? Oh. Spikes too. I love it. Okay, bait has attack. Get some attacks in, roll out. Alright, alright. Almost up to another level up. Don't accidentally forget about these spikes. That would be an extremely unfortunate way to go. What am I doing? No, seriously. <laughs> I should not be doing what I'm what I'm doing. Well, I mean, I guess this kinda works. Getting a couple of these guys. Up here, where I can more or less safely fight them. That guy exploded into money. Okay, we're gonna get an extra ten bucks or so. Yeah, I, think. I guess it, it's always it always seems to be an extra ten for I don't know. Probably until you get another get a certain threshold in terms of. Number of enemies killed. Thanks for the gemstone. We are up to two. I could afford something. I mean, if nothing else, I could go back to the shop to heal twice. I wonder if I should actually do that. That might not be the worst idea. Although, it looks like there's a chest down there. According to the map... Was there anything in the shop that I really like, that I really want to have? Actually, we can teleport, save some time. Let's see here. These things cost three. Um, Ring of Ambition. Well, I mean, that doesn't really matter all that much. Um, and these are all too expensive. Just heal me. I'm gonna hold onto that one gemstone to open the the chest that I saw. Well, I mean, I'm, at least I'm piling up some gold, so that's nice. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll be able to actually clear out this room, clear out this floor. Okay, looks like we pretty much gathered all the melee enemies, at least in this middle part of the cave. 
All right, okay. Could have quickly gone ahead and grabbed that. Oh, is this? Yeah, this might be enough to unlock another Wherever Book of Ray upgrade. A secret. Knowledge was to be gained in reward. And oh, that one. Was a reward, For danger, more, more money drops, actually. Was important enough that it brought Grandma here. Nice. Here's to being lucky, Grandma exclaimed with her unique sense of humor. Well, I mean, unless that's extraordinarily expensive to get. Um, pretty sure that's that at least a portion of the money I just made in this run will go into that. Okay. Some of the thing, that's fine. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's exactly what we have the shrine for. Sweat dripped from the man's oh, brow. No. His stamina oh, faded he's screwed. in his final stand to protect his family. Can we maybe inter intervene already? The promise of a safe haven. <gasps> that guy's an elite too. And one that summons more guys. What? Don't get stuck! No. Oh no. Wait. Can I please reach these guys and kill them? Jesus. Did I, I did not get either of those freaking archers. There we go. Get out of there. Thankfully, the NPCs are actually invulnerable to enemy attacks. Good thing that's not something I have to worry about. Oh, oh, I just barely killed him. Oh, and, right. Like with that other mini-boss previously, or elite previously, that summoned more mobs. It's really unfortunate that you cannot squeeze through here. I hate it when when in games it looks like you your character should fit, but you can't. I know, it's, you know... I'm sure devs try to make sure that those situations don't happen, but it's there are so many potential spaces, especially when things are also procedurally generated on top of that. Anyway, yeah, it, it could have screwed me here. It just luckily did not. Anyway, what was I talk talking about? Uh, right, uh, all the, the summoned minions seem to die together with the boss. Or maybe they died because I leveled up and caused an explosion. Actually, uh, Shadow Cloak. Uh, I mean, unleash Kevin's rage to send him into the ultimate frenzy. I mean, I guess it would be nice to be able to use his rage mechanic. Hmm. Vanishing from sight and allowing him to move around unhindered. Chance to instantly kill weaker enemies on the following attack. Eh, I mean, that effect seems kind of kind of weak. But honestly, I think I want want to have an evasive move, or I need this more than than I need an another offensive tool. Maybe we already deal pretty good damage. Is the thing. So uh, yeah, let's get this one for the time being. Let's see. Okay, we go into the shadows and we. Stay there for quite some time. Yeah, actually, that lasts for a decent amount of time. The cooldown is pretty long, though. Through labored breath, Ooh, the thanks. man gave his thanks and said a prayer for his good fortune. Okay, nice. Now we have the obelisk heals grace, which is actually nice. I was skeptical at first when we first got that, before even unlocking obelisks, because I didn't realize how common they were. But yeah, that's actually pretty neat. And what the heck is this? Oh, uh, probably just another toy, collectible, wooden bat. Okay, so that's just a nice little cosmetic item for the house. All right, awesome. I actually did survive the floor. Not sure how much further I'll be able to make it, but well, I mean, we'll see. I wasn't expecting to to win and defeat the spider boss on Kevin's first run, so maybe this is gonna surprise me as well. Okay, I mean, obviously the way to go with archers is just be aggressive. Almost ran into that. Okay, um, 
Um, I mean, sure, might as well. Okay, okay, nice. The health drops. Oh, we, we are out of dashes, though. Let me keep that in mind. Okay. I am a little bit skeptical as far as the accuracy of the of that club swings hitbox goes as well. I feel like it looks like they only hit on one side of them, you know, like right in front of them basically. But so theoretically, you should be fine standing on the other side of them. But you know, I'd rather just get pretty far away from them. Period. Oh, I did not mean to roll in that direction. Good thing we're not playing as John, who only has one dodge and then is kind of screwed. Nope. Also, just was a 120 damage crit. I like it. Do not currently have a gemstone. I mean, you kind of see the the area of effect of their slam, I suppose. It does extend a little bit behind them, but still, you know, better safe than sorry. Who knows how pixel perfect it is? I'd rather not even get close to touching it. The air was still with energies, coiled and ready to let loose. Okay, decreased rage drain. Well, since I did not get that rage ability, that is not going to do anything. I guess it's pretty decent though, depending on how good your rage ability happens to be. Hi there, big guy. Oh. Actually, I could probably use this one. Oh no, I didn't have my dot ready. Ah. Okay. Thanks for the key. Much appreciated. Ooh, sweet. Ring of regeneration. Gain constant health regen, but health globes heal less. I mean, the re regen really is kind of weak. I wonder if I should go for this now. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm not going to use it right away now. And hope to get my health refilled via health globes first. Hi. Oh, that's another ingredient. Hmm. Ha. I mean, I wonder if this is gonna lock me in once I really enter. Wait, can they not attack me at all? So cheesy. Come here. Come one, come all. Come on. I mean, that guy really isn't so bad. Does not seem to lock me in. Huh. Almost. I mean, I expected to get hit there. The bats are definitely unpredictable and thus dangerous. Let's pick this there up. could not have been Caveweb, nice. a more perfect description of this root than its name. Cave web. Rather bland to the taste, but still edible and full of nutrients. Huh. Okay. I don't really see how that makes the name particularly fitting, but okay, sure. Um, let's see here. Map says that we... We only have this way to go. Not sure what that thing is there. Might just be some kind of tribal totem. Regen. Some stamina. Okay, 
not destructible, but it does block my movement. There's some spikes. There's some dark stuff that doesn't actually seem to be anything. Of course we... We've seen this setup multiple times now. When there are spikes on one side, there's always spikes on the other as well. Okay. Those guys! I hate them so much. Their movements are so erratic. Hey, big guy. Nice, nice. Wow, that was a good hit. What? Didn't I have... No, I totally... I pressed the button, I swear. <sighs> Is this the time to activate regen? Yeah, I guess. Why not? And it's not like health globes don't heal for anything. They just heal for less. What? Would you please hit that guy? What? Would you hit him? Oh my god. Okay, just... Come here. What is it with my weird... Oh god, inability to hit enemies. Thanks for the obvious heal. Oh no. Slow. Ah, oh, of course. Took some unnecessary damage here. What is that? Oh, a body of a little girl? That's... That's not nice, game. Don't do that. Ugh. Missed almost, almost everything. We do have a gemstone. Sure, why not? Wow, what? We have almost 1500 gold? When did that happen? Last time I checked, we had 700. I have no idea how I doubled my money since then. It doesn't feel like I did all that much. But I guess I did. Huh. Awesome. Actually, pretty awesome. Um, uh, sure, I might as well. Or this away. Oh, hey, that's that room. And another shop? Yep. And of course, once again, we are completely out of gems. At least we'll be able to collect some scraps. Listen to some nice music. Incidentally, I recently played through uh, Mortal Shell, a somewhat recently released um, Souls-like. I mean, it, it really reminds me of, or is reminiscent of, of the original Dark Souls, or I don't know, well, either of the Dark of the Dark Souls games, really, um, in many ways. Without being a direct clone, it's it's a neat game. I had fun with it. It's really short. But uh, but sweet, and it also happens to have uh, very similar soothing loot music in it, just by pure coincidence, of course. Well, oh what? There, of course. <sighs> nice. Okay, the explosion got them. I mean, didn't kill them. But it was actually, it was actually not a com complete accident that that mushroom explosion happened and affected the the enemies there. drop, I think. Oh, we are at full health either way. So that's nice. Whew. Okay, uh, also there's bodies here. Oh. 
two gemstones. I didn't even look at the at the shop inventory, did I? I guess that's not really there's not really much of a point so long as you don't have the money for it. But um, we'll see. Maybe if I happen to get another get a third uh, gemstone here somehow. I'm going to go ahead and check out the shop after all. Okay, we got a number of archers, holy crap. That one just missed me by complete coincidence. Obelisk of... what? Oh, crit chance. Wait, is it crit chance? Crit damage? I don't know. I think I read something about crit. It's fine. More archers. Keep forgetting about my own advice of being aggressive with them. Ah, now, of course, we do have three gems, so we could potentially buy a charm or a relic, I guess, in the shop. Margaret arrived in time to reveal the contents of the tablet. The secrets of Rhea are in the hearts of the stones, and for those whose weapons guard the creatures of the wild, there are new arts of war to be learned. Runic knowledge. Oh, that's uh, what unlocks the runes for characters, which I still don't know what that does exactly. That's good to... oh. Well, uh, corporeal gift, rune. Regenerate health at maximum frenzy. Oh. Well, I still have not unlocked Frenzy, so there's that. You found an ability rune. Runes modify your abilities in a unique way and are consumed when you use that ability. Wait, what? That seems to affect my basic attack, though. So does that mean as soon as I use my normal attack, it consumes that rune? Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't seem to make much sense if it works that way. Also, we don't have any rage, so I guess no matter what, it's not going to do anything. Uh, I could teleport to the boss room. I'm so tempted to just grab the money, and I guess there could technically be an item in here, although the chances seem rather low. Or I could go to the shop and buy an item that will potentially enable me to defeat the boss and make, make some really meaningful progress. How realistic is that, though? Ah, it's so... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the shop has to offer. If it seems really good, like it could really change the game for me. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know what the boss is, of course, so who knows. Maybe it is that golem that we were told about, although it sounds more like the golem is going to be the warrior, the, the watcher, the, the guardian, whatever, of the third area, the final area, before we actually make it to uh, Denai... An Anai Rea... No, what, what's her name? Whatever. Um, Rea Dana? I, I, I don't know. Uh, whatever the goddess's name Sanctuary is. Uh, call for the sword. Right. I mean, it would be nice to have that, maybe. But then again, maybe there's a lot of enemies that I want to slow in the boss fight. It's possible. Divine Performer. Uh, high combo kill counters reward more more money. Oh, okay. That's not going to happen. Nearby enemies take damage when you are attacked. I mean, it's going to happen. So I guess I might as well make the best out of getting hit. Who knows? That, that might actually be helpful depending on how many enemies there are in the fight, potentially. Hearty Invigoration. Temporarily increase rage gain. Yeah, well... I know, I know. I should unlock rage just so I can make up the various things that interact with it. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to get this one. Unfortunately, there isn't anything for two that's, uh, that's worth getting, or else I would get that and the, sh and the chest. I'm still tempted to just skip this and get the chest for the money, and because I don't know if this is really going to make a difference. It might. Ah, whatever. It's, if nothing else, it's a new item. So now I have it in the codex. Here goes nothing. Well, we do get some money out of this, this antechamber. 
little bit of a consolation prize that you get no matter what. Also a chance to heal, I suppose. I just need not that I need it right now. The creature that now oh. threatened the hero not a golem. was a crudely focused inferno of hatred and malice. What? How did that hit me? Oh my god. Ah. Oh, so bad. That's, uh, that was a good hit. Mm, let's see. If I do this. One oh. raging beast. What? Not enough. No. Of course Surely not. Two were. Are you freaking real? Nope. No. Oh, I interrupted my freaking thing and I'm dead. I mean, I'm basically dead. There's no way I'm not dead. Oh, this is rough. Holy moly. I guess if I had my. If I had had my rage ability, I might have been able to focus down the, the first guy. Who was already getting low? <sighs> wow. Okay. I mean, that's definitely doable. And this honestly feels like a boss that would be easier with Linda or another ranged character. Because yeah, these guys are obviously they have that charge, which is definitely easier to dodge at a, at a range. Um, as well as their at least that I think the the guy that spawns second. I don't know if the first one has that same thing, but the the guy that spawns second definitely had some some kind of sick melee combo, some martial arts crap that uh, was really that hit me pretty hard. Oh well, uh, the Berksons have fallen in the pit. I mean, thankfully, the Berksons do not actually die. Um, right. So we we gathered a bunch of money, which is good. Uh, we unlocked two more um, obelisk upgrades, or not obelisk upgrades, uh, just uh, magical upgrades, I guess. So that's great. Um, yeah, anyway, and we did find the second ingredient. So that's cool. One more run, basically. And we will uh, be able to save that puppy. As the conversation turned to the progress of the corruption, Mary was curious to know which village had been attacked this time. Hmm? However, that worry gave way to panic when Lucy entered. She seems agitated. Oh. Poor beasts, all slaughtered. Maybe something had infected them. The corruption was on their doorstep now. This is literally outside the house? Hmm. Oh, Burks' animal shelter unlocked. Okay, I guess I just had to do a run for that to trigger. It seemed like Kevin and Lucy discovered the animal pen that Uncle Ben had constructed sooner than they were supposed to. This new level of cooperation between animals of the wild and the Berksons would surely please Rhea. Um, let's see. Berksons have decided to find another home for the animals besides their hearts. Animals can now be given treats at the shelter. Happy animals boost Berksons in various ways. Treats. Uh, I don't know that I have any, but... Okay, animal treats. Oh, I do. Wait. Hmm, maybe you start with some. Uh, Berksons can bring home the animals... Bring, bring home the animals the treats they collect in dungeons. Treated animals are delighted and boost the Berksons. Right, these animals seek shelter with the Berksons. Animal status, selected animals happiness level and the boost they provide can be viewed in this panel. Okay. Uh, press A on the available animal to treat it. Uh, Hashmal the kitten. What is more charming than a cute little kitten roaming around the house? Well, nothing really. Um, there is nothing he loves more than playing with the Berksons. He is a kitten after all. Okay, normal affection level, and he's gonna improve crit chance, which is awesome. Treat menu. You can give treats to selected animals through this menu. How do you want to treat the animal? A normal or rare treat? I mean, I didn't. I, I'm assuming you can just find those, and I'm assuming that affection level doesn't drop when you when you haven't given them treats for a while. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's just like another passive upgrade. Um. Anyway, treat type. Two types of treats can be found in dungeons. They affect animals' happiness by, di by different levels. Right. 
Press A on available tree to give it to the animal. Pretty straightforward. It's, I feel like this is a little bit over tutorialized uh, compared to some of the, or to all of the previously uh, introduced upgrade menus. Uh, specify the amount, uh, right? The amount of happiness level reaches a certain point, you will find the boost it provides below it. I see. Okay. Press A to give design tree. Yes, thanks. Wow. So right now we only have this. No, wait. Faramar is the deer. Uh, XP gain. What? Uh, dodge chance for Tala the fish. So colorful they are. It's always fun to watch them swim around so swiftly. It's his antlers or his. Is it his antlers or his age that make him look so wise? I don't know. If he is to stay around humans, who better than the guardians? Of the Mount Morta. Uh, yes. Wait. Hold on. Did we have two treats just a second ago? Did I? Oh, the game automatically gave him one. Or I guess it made me press a. I couldn't back out of that while the tutorial was happening. So I was forced to get the 1% crit chance, which is, you know, totally fine. Uh, wow, 10% extra XP gain? That's huge. That's a huge boost. I wonder how rare these treats are going to be. But I mean, that's that was just for a single. Regular treat, not even a rare one, so... Huh. That seems pretty powerful. 3% extra crit and 10% XP gain? Yes, please. Huh. Well, the camera does weird things here, <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes it just starts drifting off and then... It takes a moment before it actually moves when I hit the stick at all. Okay, let's see. Uh, huh. We have a an event with a... Family here. Another map. Goblin bandits had been preying on Anaya Dias pilgrims with unprecedented cruelty, removing the evil to help those who had taken refuge in the caves. Ben had heard that the goblin siblings' lair was somewhere in the lost trenches. Berksons had to deal with those two as soon as they could. Interesting. We had a similar thing before where. Ben presented some sort of map. I forget what exactly that was talking about. Um, it does not list this here, but I'm guessing that um, the goblin siblings are probably going to be in, in some sort of maybe sub-dungeon, some sub-area that you access from one of the levels of the, of the trenches area. Wow, okay. Uh, Farmer's knowledge, yes. We did unlock that. Heshmel's paw. Did get that. We did unlock the, the animal shelter. Runic knowledge is unlocked. Souvenir, right. That is probably, uh, I would guess, in maybe in Kevin's room? Wooden bat, maybe. Hoarder upgrade. I'm definitely gonna get that if I can. Precision upgrade is unlocked. Oh! Wait, why is that grayed out and when did that happen? Or wait, we, we had that unlocked before, didn't we? Let's see here. Oh yeah, the wooden bed is lying right there. Cool, cool. Book of Rhea. Unlocks runes for various slots. Increased runes durability. Hmm. That's expensive. That's also kind of expensive, but... I mean... Worth it, I guess? It's a 10% money drop increase. I mean, yeah. This. I cannot quite afford the next level, though. This one's relatively cheap. I wonder if I should get that. I mean, the, yeah, there are some pretty useful shrines. Obelisks, whatever. Um, let's see here. Precision, right. Critical chance. And in fact, I have already put a bunch of points into that. Hmm. Yeah, that's super expensive. More crit chance? I mean, crits are nice. More damage is also nice. I cannot quite afford the obelisk upgrade and the damage, right? Yeah. I feel like I should get this out of the way. Oh, wait, never mind. I can't do math. I, no, I totally can do math. Never mind. Um, I mean, I suppose I could save for the extra damage, but we're definitely going to have enough up to the next run, so that's fine. Some extra health definitely cannot hurt. Um, quite the opposite. Right, okay. 
I mean, 10% extra gold is not a huge boost, but it's definitely nice. And honestly, if I end up with a similar amount of gold after the next run, I'm probably going to spend 1300 on the next Hoarder upgrade. That just seems so useful. Obviously, the most, the more useful the earlier you get it, so... Yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, actually, alright. One last thing I wanted to check. Charms, Obelisks. Greatly increases crit chance. Okay. That's the one that I wasn't sure if I read it right. The skull, that looks kind of bad. <laughs> looks almost like, like it would do something negative. I guess it does do something negative to my enemies. Anyway, okay, that's cool. Uh, a bunch of progress today, again. Very decent run with Kevin. Although I feel like, uh, now that I know what those next bosses are, the next boss, double boss, uh, I think I want to play Linda again and see if she really has an easier time with it. Mm, also, you know, I kind of I do enjoy playing as her, so there's that as well. Um, maybe we can find some animal treats, and we should definitely be able to find that third uh, ingredient for the pup remedy, so that's cool. That's something to look forward to. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye!